Hi, welcome to the upper yard at Grenshill Farm. Um, we're going to give you a quick tour around of some of the Cheltenham horses and uh, hopefully give you some pointers. We've got Ask Dylan, who um, is going to go for the Alba Bartlett. Hopefully, if we get sort of good, good to soft ground, um, he's done very well for us. He was fifth in the list at Bumper, and um, his all his form stacks up really well. He won a good race at Ascot. Uh, two or three winners have come out of that, um, and uh, like I say, it was that day was soft ground, it was hard work. He toughed it out, but yeah, I know he was he was really good. So this is Benny's Bridge. Um, he is in the Imperial Cup before Cheltenham. He's in the Supreme Novices. He won a good two mile handicap at Cheltenham on his last run. Um, he's also in the County Hurdle, I think it is. So we'll just see how he goes between now and then and whether he takes up his engagement at Sandown first. This is a, is he going to come and say hello? Perfect candidate, who's in the Kim Muir. Uh, he's dropped from a mark of 155 now to down to 142 or three, I think it is. So he gets into the Kim Muir, loves Cheltenham, so I think that'll be the place where he'll probably end up going. He's in a couple of races beforehand, but he likes Cheltenham, so that's probably the best bet for him. Barney? Barney's a bit le less anti-social, or more anti-social than the others. This is Barney Dwan, who's been placed at the last two festivals for us. He's also in the Kim Muir. He was very good. Uh, he just got bumped into one in, on, in the Pretemps two years ago, in percent in percent in Percy, who's now favourite for the Gold Cup. Um, but he gave him a good run for his money. And last year he was fourth in the Close Brothers. Trip probably just caught him out a little bit. Um, so a little bit sharp runner, but he ran, a, ran his heart out. No feel he gave him a lovely ride. So um, he'll uh, hopefully, possibly go back for the Kim Muir. So this is Jarvie's plate. Jarvie's ran very well at Cheltenham on New Year's Day. It was a little bit disappointing the last day when he finished third, but you know, we don't think that was his true running. Um, he, um, his time, his times, his sectional times when he won there on on, uh, on New Year's Day were very good, and um, yeah, he's just a very, he's a lovely horse. He's very straightforward. He's very easy to do, very easy to train, and um, he'll go for the Ballymore, I think. So he, he yeah, he, he's um, that'll be that'll be the race for him. He travels and he jumps. You know, he's run well over two miles at Cheltenham, and he's won over two and a half. So uh, he's a lovely big stamp of horse. So fingers crossed. He's uh, he'll go and give a good run of count for himself. Charlie's mad as a box of frogs. He's chased his spud's half brother. Ran, ran an absolute cracking race in the cleave, you know, against some very good handicappers. Finished sixth, uh, ran on very well. Uh, the Albert Bartlett would think will be the race for him. Um, he's got the experience, he's a you know he's a tough horse. He, he likes to drop in and come past horses. So hopefully something like the Albert Bartlett will suit him really well. He's, um, like I said, very straightforward horse, very easy to train. And uh, pleasure to have around. He is a little bit mad, so he, the boys and girls who have to ride him have uh, got to gotta, gotta know him a little bit. But yeah, he, he, he's very good. Come and say hello. This is the name of Aids Me. He's absolutely a fantastic boy. Come on. We didn't. Pay fortunes for him. Dennis, come on. Um, he has been a great servant to his owners, really. He's been, he won at Warwick, he was placed at Kempton twice, then he went and won at Warwick, and he was placed at Cheltenham twice, and he won, and won at Warwick. Um, he was placed at Newbury in a good handicap, he was fourth. Um, so he could go to the Albert Bartlett as well. Um, we'll just again see how the ground is like and see where, where he is, but yeah, he's a lovely horse. You're a good boy, aren't you? He's lovely to have anything to do with. This is Capsule, who finished second to Lorena last year. She was beaten a long way, like I said to you earlier, she was beaten that far by Lorena. It was um, she thought she won, 
but it was a great ride by Paddy last year. You know, very testing conditions. Everyone went off really quick, and um, but she she's been a fantastic filly for us and, and the owner. She's won listed races, listed bumpers, listed hurdles. Um, I say second to Lorena last year in the mayor's, mayor's race. Um, she hasn't run since then because she's had little niggles and little little twigs that we are trying to get right. But hopefully the last month or so she's been really well. And um, so we're looking forward to, to getting her back on the track. Um, it's, a, it's a big ask to go to Cheltenham for your first run, but she loves Cheltenham. She's won round there, won a, won a bump around there. And um, yeah, so she was second last year at the festival and she's a lovely mare, aren't you? Yes, you are.